Previously on Zakia Loves Pinto. I try to work out about three, four times a week. Like this belly part. I feel like I probably had some type of body dysmorphia. Are we gonna do this today? A heat wave. I, I couldn't imagine this life without her. You can still go Even when there's no hope You can still go I never answered a no Man, I still go Go, 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 go Everything that I'm pouring into my body is going to suit me in the long run, even though it may not feel fun and, you know, taste as good <laughs> for now. Um, I'll thank myself later on in life. And I just want to look good, like, period. To stay motivated um, with my health and working out, it literally takes practice. Telling yourself to get up, telling yourself to not eat this, Telling yourself to not eat that. But over time, your body and your mind starts to become uh, used to making the right choices. I think the easier choice is to do what isn't necessarily good for you and it takes way more strength to actually do what's right for you. But consistency is everything, discipline is everything. So I literally have to tell myself, hey, go drink some water, go eat some fruits. And after I have those things, I realized that those cravings weren't even as strong as I thought they were. I think weight has always been a yo-yo for the last couple of years in my life. You know, I used to run track, super athletic, always played spark, sports, volleyball, um, basketball, even soccer, you name it. So I know what my body is and what it's supposed to look like. So I just want to get back to that. I want to be naked on the beach if I can feel good about seeing it. Oh my gosh. Um, I've been struggling with uh, my weight over the last couple of years um, especially back then where emotionally I felt tied to just having it be a comfort for me um, and also being attached to not feeling good at that time of my life and in that place in my relationship and also like just you know how I felt about myself and so um, it was no control it was literally based off of emotion and I didn't feel good. So um, it's been a up and down. And now that I am in a place where I feel really good about myself, I know the difference to having control and not allowing those things to drown you and so that you can make a better decision. And so I'm so grateful that um, I've had my breakthrough because I don't ever want to be back in that place. That's my drive to get him back into working out, eating healthy. It shows through your skin, you know? There's nothing that looks better when you look in the mirror and you don't see any toxins coming out of you. You just have to be consistent. You know, I have to change that narrative about myself. Anything that you're consistent in, you are gonna reap the benefits on. And if I do this, you know, now, a year from now, I'll see a drastic change. My body will be used to the things that are hard for me right now. Whenever I'm lacking consistency, some of the few things that I like to do is really just take my time, not feeling like I have to rush or I have to um, just go super hard and overwork myself because um, I just wanna get it done or I just wanna achieve a goal really fast. Um, sometimes just taking your time and doing one step at a time just gets you closer to the goal than 
you working towards the goal and then you get burnt out and then you stop. Another one is also just speaking positivity. You know, you can always talk yourself into not doing something. So you, I just say, hey, if I do it, I'm gonna feel good about it. So let me just check this off the list. Um, yeah, it's, it's, it has a lot to do with just self-motivating at the end of the day. Growing up in a Jamaican household, it is a must. You must run track at some point, whether you are good at it or not. Just so happened, it worked out for me. My parents put me in a, a track club called the LA Jets and we were like number three in the nation. My dad did a lot of training with me. He would take me to the beach and have me run in the sand up and down. And um, that got me ready to be a winner. And my mom would take me to all of my track meets. So um, I would say that my parents are the main push behind me running track. So it's instilled in me to love running. When I run, I feel free. That was a long, long walk. Okay, so I walked to the gym because Pinto challenged me. and. I and I don't stand down from a challenge, okay? I'm a Leo. We take on the challenge. And she was like, I dare you, you can't walk to the gym. I said, yeah, I can't walk to the gym and I'm gonna be there before you get there. Now that was, that didn't work out that way, but <laughs> and it was hot that day and it was tiring, but I did it, I accomplished it. That's it, period. Time to work out. When I was running track, you still gotta pace your body. If you're going long distance, so you don't get tired out as fast. So you just breathe through your nose, out your mouth. You'll conserve more energy. So, talking is a whole lot more. Weight is 160. These look kind of good. You don't think you'll ever feel like it's, it's a burden? Mm -hmm. We got a lot of cranberry juice. <laughs> All right. Okay, go ahead, babe. Okay. Oh boy. 